Hello and welcome back. In this video, let's have a look at how to actually sort out this touch keyboard. Okay, because when you get it straight out of the box, um, Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, it takes up literally half the screen over here and you don't get this function keys and the shift, etc, etc. You're stuck with the simple version of the keyboard, which is this, and it's half the thing. Okay, so now there's two ways you can do it, okay, to get to this system, okay, it's basically you can click on these two files, one is for setting the size, okay, the simple thing is it's a registry edit, okay, and in the registry you need to go to this location and ensure that there's a key and change the monitor size, the bigger the number, the smaller this goes, if you want this bigger, you reduce the number. Okay, if you want to do it manually in case you're scared of using other files or whatever, okay, that's not a problem. Reg edit, okay, click on reg edit, okay, and you're gonna to have to go to this location, okay, which is once you're here, you then let's bring it half screen over there let's bring that half screen over there so we can actually find it so it's h key local machine okay then it's software then it's microsoft then it's windows okay then it's windows and then it's current version and then it's explorer Explorer, where's Explorer gone? There we go. All right, and then there's scaling. Okay, when you get it out of the box, you actually don't have this scaling thing, so you actually have to create it yourself. So basically, what you would actually want to do is right click on Explorer and then click New and then Key. Okay, and then you give it the name Scaling. Okay, once you have that done, okay, you will then right click on it, okay, and then create new, and then it's a D word, okay, so you'd click new, and then you give it monitor, sorry, not D word, it's a new, string word okay then call it monitor size as we have over there okay we cannot create one that's already there okay and then once you've created that okay give it a value of 40 okay and then as you can see it's up to you what size you want to set it at we have the current one set at 80 40 gives the same thing because after a certain number it doesn't really change Okay, now you're going to have to restart your computer and then you'll be able to go back to getting a little tiny nice thing over here that doesn't take up much space. Okay, let's just minimize that. Okay, now the other option is how do we actually get this standard keyboard because many people have this blanked out, okay, out of the box. Okay, so the simple thing is it's again you can either just double click on the file that should be there with the YouTube thing and also on our website and just click yes and it does it automatically or you can actually do the same thing again back to the manual thing go over there click type in regedit open it up and it is okay keyboard size you don't want we want standard keyboard Okay, so it's now in a slightly different location. Okay, H key current user software Microsoft. Okay, then it's tab tip, tablet tip, and then it's 1.7. Okay, and now what we need to do is actually create this enable compatibility keyword 
which is a D word. Again, the same setup. Okay, new D word. Okay, once you have the D word, then give it the name exactly as it's over here, and then set the value to basically one. Okay, keyboard layout preference, depending on which keyboard you want to start up when you start your computer, you can have it starting up with the normal one or the pen or that. Okay, and there are different numbers starting from zero, you can go. 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. The simplest way is obviously just to click on it. Okay. Click yes. Click yes. And it installs it. Okay. If you have any worries about what's actually in the file, you can always right click on it and click edit, and you'll see there. Okay. So that there should be no changes between those two files. Okay. Hopefully this helps. Um, thank you for watching.